Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I just want to say big apologies at first because this video is actually a week late. Uh, I went to the toy fair last Sunday, so sadly, due to university and the lack of free time, it has taken me until now to get round to doing my toy haul video. So, skipping all the nonsense, we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, this isn't in the order that I bought them in, I just thought I'd save the, you know, go from the least cool to the coolest. So, starting off, uh, just got some standard Doctor Who figures. Got a White Eyes Cyber Controller and a Cyberman with arm gun. Now, I'm really happy to get this guy because this is the Cyber Controller with white eyes and i believe this was the original version before they changed it to the blue uh, i like the blue but i'm not gonna lie there's something about this that i just like more uh, he's in reasonable condition i do actually have him brand new in the box so it would be great that i can now keep him that way and uh, just because the guy said you know two for a fiver i picked up this guy and he is in great condition you know, very good paint, no scratches. Um, very good. He has the arm gun right there. And very cool looking face. I I really like these Cybermen. These are my Cybermen. I know a lot of people don't. But uh, to go with these guys from a different seller, I got the newly regenerated 11th Doctor. So now I only need one more figure from the end of time wave to complete the end of time wave because I'll just move these out of the way I also got this guy the narrator I got him for 10 quid um, which is a good price actually so I was told because I believe he's difficult to find uh, I will be opening him yeah, sorry, I, I'm just that kind of collector. I don't like, um, you know, I buy, I buy things to enjoy them, honestly. I've never really considered myself a collector, so to speak. I, I just want toys. And, you know, the trouble is when toys are marketed as collectibles, they go up in price and it just makes them so much more sought after than, you know, they need to be. Uh, so on the back... You see the rest of the wave. I have him, as I've just shown you. I've got him. Uh, I got him, literally, the toy fair before the pandemic. And I was quite happy with the price I got him. So just him I need to get now. And then that will complete my Russell T. Davis era. Very, very good likeness, actually. And, uh, yeah, great figure. Another figure that I've got in its box is the master regenerated which is very nice and he comes with the gelf piece so that's very good uh, i currently have three pieces of the gelf i have the tail of this the big orange body and the stand so yeah the other parts are going to be much harder to get so i have the stand this part of the body i don't have the head and obviously i've got this one but actually which one is that yeah so well, I think they're both the same actually so I've got this tail here so yeah I've got uh, four out of seven so now I just have the three most difficult which I think is I think it's Corwin the clockwork man the purple one and Jabe I think I, I wish they'd tell you uh, which figures come in the entire wave so you know but uh, I'll have to look it up but very awesome to get them in their boxes um, 15 quid is quite pricey I'm not gonna lie I suppose some of you guys might argue against that but I got mine for 13 pound he, he just wouldn't go any lower and I thought you know what bugger it I I need this guy so uh, very good very happy with that uh, next one is really cute. I got a Hornby TARDIS, so cute little teeny tiny TARDIS, which will go very nicely with anything Hornby, which I don't have because Hornby is ridiculously expensive. But yeah, I think it's very nicely detailed. In fact, actually, that is incredible. 
all the words actually on the sign and you know that that's the size of it compared to my thumb so you know that that is really really impressive even the the bronze on the handle it's amazing how they've got that for its size so here yeah, a nice little thing uh, only two pound i know it says four pound but you know a lot of people like to do me deals because i'm a loyal customer of a lot of the sellers and now my greatest doctor who find a sound effects talking dalek by product enterprise now this is uh, not the first time i've owned a product enterprise dalek i had the small ones uh, which i got years ago when i was just a kid uh, but this is the larger scale and as you can see the the sculpting is a bit strange like the proportions aren't quite right but i kind of like it in spite of that i it's strange because it's obviously meant to be the planet of the dalek supreme because you've got the purple lights and then you've got the gold but it isn't because the planet of the dalek supreme had a torch for an eye uh, bigger lights and it didn't have uh, these kind of bars going down it just had the discs and it was on a much bigger base so yeah it seems like the uh it's the exact same dalek toy every time they just paint it different colors but that's fine but what i really love is the effects oh god that is loud And I will say another thing, sorry if you guys have got ringing in your ears now, because my god that was loud, is the eye has much more articulation than the character options one does. It Not only can it look all the way up, but it can look quite far down as well, so you can get that sort of, you know, uh, this is the eye looking straight on, and then you can push it down even more, so I really like that. Uh, the dome can't go all the way around, this is as far as it can go, but the fact that the dome can turn and you still have the lights is it's really cool, actually. And uh, you've got full articulation on the arm and the gun. You've got three wheels underneath, however, the wheel does not rotate, so it kind of just, you know, you, the wheel scratch as you twist it, but that's fine, it still comes along very well. It's a very, very nice Dalek toy actually i have to say really do love it just try and fill in the background a little bit so yeah very nice dalek toy i'm really really happy with that so moving away from doctor who now we've got a very awesome find we've got the predator and the alien from the original kenner alien versus predator two pack now i'm not the biggest expert on um kenner figures so if any of you in the comments know these figures then um yeah but i know that necker did do a re-release of these but honestly i i really really like them these are retro toys from the 90s so we'll take a look at the alien first the attention to detail that they've given it is phenomenal especially considering that this is a children's toy so it's got six uh points of articulation you've got the head uh, which can go from side to side till it touches the shoulders you can move both of the arms up and down at the shoulder and the tail can rotate around and then the legs can move forward and back although it's in very much a fixed pose, so if you want to get it to stand, you are going to have to uh, just keep adjusting him until he does. Uh, but very, very cool. This is kind of, I, li I like to have him displayed like this. So it's almost like he's getting ready to charge. And then we have the Predator. Um, pretty much the same, only this one's five points. Your both arms move forward and back legs forward and back once again it's quite pre-posed because one of the feet is up the other one is just flat got some pegs under there but what's really cool about this is you've got your head articulation but you also have 
movable mask. Look at that. Glowing green eyes. But that's quite impressive for the time. Uh, you had to have these little pegs which go into the little holes here in order to keep the mask on. But you can see the face is even imprinted in the mask. So that's very, very cool. Just sits on there like that. And yeah. Yeah, I really like these. Actually. So. Glad I picked them up. I actually picked them up from a toy YouTuber, believe it or not. Although his, his name escapes me right now. I'll see if I can leave a link to his channel in the description below or the comments. So I apologise for that if, if you're watching by some chance. And lastly, uh, what I consider to be, well, I think my greatest purchase of the day. This. This is a Sam Raimi Spider-Man from Spider-Man 2. Now, I've done my research to try and figure out what figure this is, <laughs> figure out what figure uh, this is, but as far as I can tell, it is not the original Toy Biz super articulated Spider-Man. It has a very strange long neck, very strange actually. Uh, it's got very good articulation actually. Quite, quite a few. What I really love is, at first, I thought he just came with flat hands, but actually, you can push the fingers down, and you can have it like he's blasting web. How awesome is that? Like, come on. Especially for its size. You've got rotation there. And at the chest, you've got to forward and back. Legs come out right the way. Bend double jointed knees so you can get all these really good Spider Man poses that you know. Very, very awesome. My only problem is is I can't figure out which specific figure this is, but for the price I paid for it, I'm very happy with it, which was only three pounds. Yeah, three pounds. And yeah, I've seen figures similar to this go for 50 to 60 pounds still in their box so i think i definitely consider that to be the buy of the day so overall i really enjoyed the last toy fair it was a fun day out and it's been the first toy fair that i've been to since oh god since well the pandemic really so it's been really great to get out again. I was really hoping that I would find some good stuff. Uh, sadly, a lot of the sellers that I wanted to meet weren't there. And uh, I did actually try to get the B&M sets at the Toy Fair. But, um, you know, most people were selling them for at least £10 more. And it would be annoying to buy them and then be able to get them you know, be able to come across them in B&M, so I decided against it, plus I don't support it, you know, so uh, it was a shame, a real shame, but as I said, great news for those of you guys who, who've watched my previous video, you'll know that my uncle has found three of the four B&M sets, and yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing them, so thanks ever so much for watching guys, um, I apologise this video hasn't been the best, I've had a lot on today, and um, I hope to do more videos like this because there will be another toy fair in December, uh, just after Christmas, the 27th of December, so I'm really looking forward to doing a proper uh, toy haul thing review where I'll try and review every single toy in depth. Um, reviews for these in the boxes will definitely be coming if you guys want to see that i also just want to say guys uh just for the record that i am not just a doctor who channel i don't intend for this channel to be branded solely as doctor who you know i want to review other things i know uh, some of you may have seen my jason Voorhees reviews my necker figures I want to do a lot more of those, you know, I do want to keep doing Doctor Who content, definitely, and also I'll be doing a video soon about what I think of Russell T Davis coming back as the showrunner, so there'll be a very in-depth 
um, discussion about that, and I may even hopefully be having some guests with me, so that should be interesting. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that whenever I can, but once again, guys, I just want to say also again a big thank you for 50 plus subscribers. I, I really am grateful for every single one of you guys. And uh, yeah, look forward to more content coming soon. So thank you ever so much for watching the video, guys. Stay safe and happy wherever you are in the world. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.